Let's introduce combinations. First, let n k be natural numbers with n greater than or equal to k. Let s be a set with n distinct elements. nck, which is pronounced n choose k, is the total number of distinct subsets of s with exactly k elements. Let me repeat. n choose k is the total number of distinct k element subsets of set S where S has an element. For example, 5 choose 3. 5 choose 3 is the total number of distinct 3 element subsets of a set that contains 5 elements. 5 choose 3 happens to be 10. To see that, we would like to list all distinct 3 element subsets of a set that contains 5 elements. So let S be the set that contains A, B, C, D, E. Our set, S, five, our set S has five elements. We want to list all subsets of S, all distinct subsets of S that have three elements. So let's begin. So let's try subsets that begin with A. So we have A, B, C. A, B, D, A, B, E, we also have A, C, D, We have A, C, E. And we have A, D, E. Let's now list subset, three element subsets of S that begin with P. So let's try B, C, D. B, C, E. B, D, E. If we are asked why didn't we, why didn't we list B A C? We didn't list B A C because that set B A C is the same as the set A B C, and as you can see, we have already listed that. Remember, we are listing all distinct three element subsets of S. These two subsets are not distinct. I only have to list distinct three element subsets. All right, let's continue. Next, we want to list subsets of S, three element subsets of S that begin with C. So I only see one right here, C, D, E. Okay, so 
These are all three element subsets of our set S. How many of them are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 5 choose 3 equals 10. In this example, we can see the problem of combinations, which is our topic today. What are combinations? Let's define that. Let n k be natural numbers with n greater or equal to k. Our experiment. Select a group of k distinct objects from a collection of n distinct objects. That's our experiment. So we have n objects available. We pick a group of k of them. That's the experiment. Each outcome from this experiment is a combination of n objects taken k at a time. So each of those subsets we obtain is called a combination of the n objects taken k at a time. Let's try another example related to combinations. Let's compute 6 choose 4. This is a harder example, more difficult than our first one. But we're solving it in the same manner. We are going to have a set S that contains six elements. And we're going to find out how many distinct four element subsets of S there are. All right, so here goes our example. Compute or find six choose four. Okay, so we want to find how many distinct four element subsets are there of a set that has six elements. So let S be that set of six elements. So let, so here is our solution. Let S be the set that contains A, B, C, D, E, F. So it has six elements. Now, I said I was going to solve this problem in the same manner as the one before, but actually I want to take a shortcut. It still counts this what I want, but here's my shortcut. Instead of listing all four element subsets of S, I'm going to look at the two element subsets of S. Let's do that. Let's begin that process. So... Remember, two element subsets. So we have A, B, A, C, A, D, A, E, A, F. Okay, my next step will be a B, C, B, D, B, E, B, F. I'm going to show on screen the result. When we're done listing all two element subsets of S, we will have this distinct subsets, this distinct two element subsets of set S. There is a pattern to this. So the audience can pause the video and work out the pattern. At the end, you observe that there are 15 distinct two element subsets of S. 
so I found I didn't find or I think or it looks like I didn't find what I was looking for what I just found according to the list that I showed on screen is that is six choose two equals to 15 there were 15 elements that's not com th that list is not complete here but it is complete right here there are 15 uh, two element subsets let me get closer there are 15 distinct two element subsets of our set s so question is why did I do this? The answer is simple. If I want to form four element subsets of S, I have to pick four elements from S to put in my four element subsets. But that's the same thing if I pick the numbers I'm leaving behind. How many, uh, not numbers, excuse me. That's the same as picking how many, what elements I leave behind. I'll always leave two elements behind. So, that's what I listed. I listed after I picked the four elements from S in this list is what rem the all possible two element subsets that remain. So that's the same number of four element subsets of S. The number of two element subsets of S that were not picked has to be exactly the same as the total number of four element subsets of S. So we can declare that we did solve our problem. Six choose two gave us the answer to six choose four. So six choose four is 15. So in summary, we have computed by using combinations. What combinations did we use? We had six distinct objects and we picked a group of four of them. We counted how many possible such groups there are. So, it was a more difficult question, but we were able to solve it. Now let's try another one, another example. This one is a, a word problem. So the Pennsylvania Lottery has a game called Lotto. The game consists of picking six distinct numbers out of 49 distinct numbers available. The numbers are available are 1 through 49. So here is an example. Pennsylvania lots of game a, a player selects six distinct numbers from 1 to 49. The order is irrelevant. If you pick 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, that is the same as if you had picked 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So the Pennsylvania Lotto is a game of combinations. So here is our question. How many distinct tickets of the Pennsylvania Lotto are possible? Let's refine that question. How many distinct combinations are there in the Pennsylvania Lotto? How many 
distinct combinations are there in the Pennsylvania Lotto. Very big number, but very simple answer. I can give you an answer right now. 49 to 6. Because this game, in this game, we have the, ex the experiment of combinations. We're selecting six distinct numbers from 1 to 49 out of it, the collection from 1 to 49. So there is a combination of 49 objects selected six at a time. The total number, as we can conjecture or maybe already know, is that there has to be 49 choose 6. The total number of six element subsets of the set that has 1 through 49. Okay, so getting an answer to this, of course, will require uh, something different than we did in our first two examples. What we did in our first two examples was to actually list the possible combinations and then count them. But uh, that's not going to be feasible or easy to do with this uh, number, 49 to 6. So here is a question, a remark. Is there a formula that finds n choose k? Answer, yes, there is. And our goal is to obtain it, to derive it. That we will do in a separate uh, presentation. That is all for now.